Hello everybody, back here again for their vlog a day, and today is Monday the 31st, and today was a beautiful, lovely day outside, sun shining, only real problem was, is the wind was blowing like hell, so we ended up with crazy wind all night long, all day today, the wind was just absolutely just ridiculous, just, um, it was just like, stuff blowing around, debris, trash everywhere and stuff. And a lot of the stuff is the snow melt off too. So there's tons of trash. People have been throwing out all winter. It's been piled up underneath snow. Snow's all gone, so it's all getting blown around the neighborhood and around town. Just absolutely ridiculous the kind of pigs people are when they just throw stuff out and have no concern about that. But we did get some rain overnight. Early morning we got some rain, and then we got some rain late afternoon. Again, the afternoon rain didn't last very long, but it was these giant drops. It was ridiculous. I just got done with my run, and I had headed back out, dropped off my uh, Red Box movie, and the rain came down. Like I said, I was pulling the drive here. It wasn't really a big issue. I had to turn my wipers on, but they were like these giant, giant raindrops. It was kind of cool to see. That was definitely more of a spring rain. We had those giant raindrops like that. So that was kind of cool. Um, I'm super, super sore from being up on the roof all day uh, yesterday, tearing off all that tin in that in those barns. It's amazing how sore your body can be in different spots you're not used to. My glutes, my back of my hamstrings, my shoulders, my neck. I just got just weird like pain all over. Even my core like is rather tender from just being there fighting that wind, just not getting blown off the whole time. It's amazing how much you can do exercise like the biking, the running, the whatnot stuff. I can run a damn marathon and hurt less than I do right now, but other spots hurt a lot worse. So it just kind of all fades back and forth how it goes. So I had a um, 13 mile run I put off yesterday because of the roof, all the time it took and that. I didn't feel like running in the uh, nighttime there. The temp was dropping pretty quick. The wind was crazy and I was just, I was flat out tired and wore out from being up on that roof all day. So decided to do it today and then got a wild hair at my butt. It was nice and warm. It was in the probably, I'd say high 60s today. Decided instead I was going to go ahead and run it tomorrow because I, I told myself I'm doing 12 marathons in 12 months, but I'm kind of trying to do one per month. And tomorrow's the first month, today's the end of the month. Instead of doing two this month, I went ahead and thought, one, I'll give my body an extra day to heal up, which I'm not sure if that helped. I think I'm sore now than I was when I got this morning, but who knows, we'll see what tomorrow brings. But I said if I do it tomorrow, um, one, it's gonna be a little cooler, that's gonna kinda suck. It's gonna be 32 degrees, what uh, MSN weather's calling for at the time. I'm hoping to start running. Uh, I'm supposed to move up to 40, 42, something like that. So it won't be too bad. It's a lot better than the seven degrees I've ran a marathon in. But that's that weird temperature where you don't know what layers to wear, to wear and take with you and stuff. So I'm taking quite a bit of extra clothing in case I need to change and stuff mid-run shed off some stuff, that kind of thing. I'm going to layer up. Hopefully it all works out for the best. I'm going to take the dog with me. Um, kick the idea around going to Des Moines and running. Haven't rolled it out yet. I might run here on town here. There's no good place to run for trails. So if I do run um, around here, i got to run roads and stuff. And it's a giant pain in the butt to be running the roads with a dog. He keeps you see squirrels and stuff. And this now I'm afraid he's going to get hit. There's no good shoulders on our highways here. And to run around town, the 26 plus miles, would just drive me insane. I could hit every road in town and have to do them over again to even come close to 26 miles. It's a small little town I live in, so that would not be fun either. Might do an out and back, you know, might run out to the lake and do a loop around the lake, something like that. I have to look at it and kind of see. But I also need to get oil change in the van. I've got a Groupon for that. So if I make it to Des Moines, I can hit that. I've got some Groupons for some food. Picking myself up some food and all that good stuff. So who knows um, exactly what's going to happen there. But I'll know more about that in the morning. Um, don't really know. It's just depends on how I feel in the morning. I was kind of thinking I didn't really want to waste the gas money up there and stuff. I got pulled over today while pumping gas in my van. Deputy sheriff being a dick pulls up and he apparently, I guess my plates, I forgot to register them in December, which I don't know how in the hell that happened to register my trailers, my motorcycle, my other cars. I have no idea how the van didn't get registered, but it didn't. Uh, he was like a real dick. He's like, well, I got to give you a ticket because I give everybody else tickets. And I'm like, uh, that's bullshit. You know, you let people off tickets all the time. Everybody does it. You could have given me as a warning. I'm going straight to the courthouse right now. I'll take care of it. I'll get registered. Literally like 10 minutes later, I had it registered in that. Um, 55 bucks for that, 132.50 for the stupid ticket. That's just ridiculous. It's bullshit. But and of course, all that money goes to the state. Doesn't even stand local county sheriff's office. That kind of crap, which is even that much worse. And it's just the hassle factor of it all. He's like, well, I could have towed it. I could have whatever. I'm like, dude, go ahead and tow it. I give a shit less. I said, I'm gonna 
by the time you get a tow truck here, I'll run to the courthouse, I'll pay the damn registration fee, and I'll come back, and I'll drive the hell out of here if the tow truck even gets here. So if that's what you think you want to do, knock yourself out, man. Have fun with it. So he was kind of being a dick. I was kind of being a dick a little bit to him. Just the whole concept of, you know, I have to give you a ticket because of this. I'm like, no, you don't. People get let off on tickets constantly. You told me how you believed. I didn't know it. I wasn't being shady. I was being honest with it. I truly was surprised, yada, yada whatever. And I'm like, just kind of go fuck yourself is how I felt. But then I went ahead and said, I'm going to pay the ticket. And he goes, you can't pay it till tomorrow. You have, he, the break he gave me is he gave me till the 21st to pay it. Like it matters. It's supposed to be paid in two weeks. He gave me a third week extra there to go ahead and pay it. I'm like, I'm going to be at the courthouse in five minutes paying for my registration. I'm going to pay the ticket. And he goes, oh, no, you can't. Not till my copy gets there. I'm like, I don't need your copy. I've got my copy and uh, stuff. I can drop it off. And he's like, oh, no, no, you have to have this copy as hell. And I'm like, no, I'm just going to go pay it right now. So if I can't pay it today when I'm there, I probably won't pay it at all. I'll let you put out a warrant for me. And he kind of gave me a weird look. Walked across the hall from where I put the registration. Walked in and said, I just got a ticket like literally 15 minutes ago. And can I pay this? And she's like, yeah, we don't care. And I'm like, he keeps telling me I can't until he gets his copy in. She goes, we got everything we need on your copy. Give a shit less about his copy. So it took her an extra three minutes to look it up on the computer because she had to pull it up. They didn't have that copy there from the, sh the deputy sheriff. So that all went fine. I was glad to have that over with. Also went ahead and got my registration sticker for my dirt bike so I can ride it legally out the lake and that kind of thing of bussy. So I got that stuff done too. So spent like 300 bucks in fines, fees, tags, number plates, all that kind of crap today. And with that money going out, I wasn't planning on spending a, most of that money. I wasn't planning on spending today, at least to get 200 bucks of it anyway. And that right there really kind of cuts into my disposable income for the month. So I haven't decided I might skip tomorrow's run up to Des Moines, run around here and save myself 30, 40 bucks in fuel. But again, I do need an oil change. I need to get my food group on used up and that kind of stuff. And the trails in the morning are just so damn much nicer. It might be justifiable to go ahead and do that too. So who knows, who knows. But anyway, that's all I've really got for today. I will talk to you tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.